why cloud computing is enabling the big data economy. We've had big data for many years. What we didn't have was the ability to actually store and analyze data. And with cloud computing, all of this changed. In the past, companies basically had to hold their data in their own data centers. So they had disks of data, and the more data they have, the bigger the disks became. And if you then wanted to analyze it, you actually had a physical reader who had to find the data and process it, and this gave us huge limitations. One company that was instrumental in creating what we now call distributed computing was Google. Google basically wanted us to search the internet in a split second. They couldn't store the entire internet on a disk and then find the relevant information. So what they have come up with is storing bits of the internet on computers anywhere in the world and then having these connected via the internet, you then break the analysis up. So if someone wanted to search us for the internet or a specific bit of information on the internet, Google's intelligent software would then know where the data sits. It would break up the analysis, so use little servers, sometimes hundreds of thousands of servers, who would all perform a tiny fraction, but in parallel. This would then all be aggregated up and in a split second, you can get the result. Nowadays, we use cloud store storage and cloud computing all the time. So if you have an Apple phone, for example, you might use the iCloud to store your photos. And this is exactly what we do. We store the photos on the cloud. We don't actually know where this, this cloud thing is, but it's probably a server, quite often there's some redundancy, so we have, a multi you have your photos on multiple servers across the world, and if you want to look at it, it simply downloads it over the internet onto your device. And this is what companies now do. Nowadays, it has broken down all the barriers to data storage and all the barriers to data analysis. So a company like Walmart, for example, which generates two and a half petabytes of data every hour, they can simply go to companies like Microsoft or Amazon and say, please give me 150 petabytes of storage. They say, here you go. And then they stream their data to them. The other thing they do is they will give you the ability to analyze this data in almost real time, so we don't have the time lags. In the past, when you had huge data centers, sometimes you wanted to answer a question and these processors would crunch overnight and you come back and you get the answer. Nowadays, this is done in real time. So if you, for example, use your iPhone, you say, hey Siri, where's the nearest Starbucks? What happens is that your phone records this. It then sends it via the internet to a cloud server it, try, it will understand what you have said. It will then trigger a search on the internet to find the nearest Starbucks using GPS information and other things, and then send the answer back to you. This involves over 100,000 computers, but takes 0.5 of a second. So this is what cloud computing is all about. It means any company can now store nearly unlimited amounts of data and can analyze this data in real time to drive performance improvements. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real world case studies and examples.